Yes. But uh, so I've been here. I was at the last maybe three or four actions, and um, I'm one of the first women that hopped over the fence on our first action. That went to the right on, right on. Um, and uh, also we were there with Happy when he you know, chained himself to the bulldozer. Go shout out to Happy, man. That's what a real warrior looks like. That's what a real warrior looks like. Um, and then this last time, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Something a politician doesn't know how to do. Um, we went out and, you know, we were hanging out in the camp like we always do. A warrior call got taken out and so we took care of our kids, you know, with the caregivers and then we uh, loaded up and we headed towards where the action was at. The moment we showed up, we already saw people crossing over the fence on Saturday and we saw the bulldozers and I had my auntie with me and I tried to wait as long as I could for her but she ended up telling me, go, just go, go to the front line. I said, okay, you know. I booked it <laughs> all the way to the front line and it was something else, man. It really was. Because the moment I saw them have those dogs standing in front of us, six, seven of them, treating us like we, <sighs> like we were warriors. <laughs> But uh, the fear that they had, it was something else. And when I looked back, I saw our elderly making it over the hill with our Wakaija, our children. And it, they were scared. What else is a warrior supposed to do when you see your elderly and your children scared? You fight. You fight back. You protect them. You protect your people. So I did whatever I could do and I went up to the lines and I had nothing on more than what I have on right now, even no shoes. Even had a piece of sage and some tobacco ties. Uh, this lady, whoever was on the front lines, you guys, whoever was there, you guys saw her and she laughed at us, didn't she? She sure did. And I was trying to calm Shunka down, you know, our dog, sacred dog. The moment I leaned down to calm him, ha, Shunka, ha, he was calming down. Right then, that, I don't even want to call her a woman. What do you call that kind of person? I crouched down and she tapped that dog and let that leech go and he grabbed onto me. He bit right here and I'm not scared to show it, man. The bite mark. Now, any other person who wasn't in prayer would act out violently to that. That was nothing but a flesh offering off of the Sundance. I looked at her and I told her it didn't hurt. And I still stood ground. And know what was even better? My people stood ground with me. We looked at them and we struck fear in their hearts and it felt good. It felt really good. Because then she started going to everybody else thinking, oh, she did it. Or, you know, I got her. I got her. She looked scared. Of course I was scared. But you take that scared fear, you take that fear, what do you turn it into? Courage. Well, hit me off it. Take courage. What else are you supposed to do? And with the sounds of our voices, and with my, the warriors, the men behind me, we got them to retreat. We got them to retreat. Now that is, we did this all with no ammo, no knives, no type of machinery, weapon, whatever you want to call it. We had no weapons at all. And for our people to do that, we're badasses. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I'm no politician. 